I have no idea how it all started. Honora says she doesn't understand how her well-educated father got mixed up with scam artists. I kind of discovered it in the middle of the process when he was trying to charge a hotel bill on his credit card and his credit limit had been maxed out. She asked him why and he said he was buying coins and stamps and the men he was dealing with charged his card. And I just thought that's that's kind of bizarre behavior but I trusted my dad and I didn't want to question him. Now she regrets that she let it go. Her father was not only involved in a coin scam, he also was spending his money on bogus lottery sweepstakes. One day he did say that he was in trouble, in financial trouble. I just thought this can't be possible because my dad is a really smart person. Honora's father has since passed away, but she believes he lost more than $100,000. To her shock and surprise, going through his belongings, she noticed on his desk he had numerous solicitations from fraudulent offers in the mail. He literally had stacks and stacks on his desk. Inspectors learned the coin business was also a scam. The amount he was paying compared to the value of the coins was absurd. A $10 coin, for example, would cost $500. I really want to prevent other people from experiencing what my family experienced. Her first piece of advice, intervene. I wish I had asked him a lot more questions about it. You know that these individuals worked their whole lives saving their money, they've, they've earned their living, and then you have some scammer who just comes along and literally takes everything away from them, and they have no scruples. They will take every penny that these individuals have.